Alexander Uzik versus Anthony Joshua. Two, the rematch. Fight ended up going the distance. It went the whole 12 rounds. And Alexander Uzik successfully defended his heavyweight titles, remaining the unified heavyweight champion of the world. Man, what a fight. What a fight. Definitely more competitive than the first fight, that's for sure. Did Joshua deserve a win? My opinion, no. I don't know how that one judge had it in favor of Joshua. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how that one judge had it in favor of Joshua. Scorecards were 116, 112, 115, 113 in favor of Uzik. And uh, the one judge scoring it 115, 113 in favor of um, Joshua. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it was definitely a more competitive fight compared to the first one. Joshua uh, was more invested in the body in this time around. Uh, nearly pull it off, man. Nearly pull it off in the ninth round. Man, that was insane. The ninth round, I was like, oh my goodness. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was rooting for Uzik to win. I wanted Uzik to win this fight. And I, oh my goodness, man. I was just like, come on, Uzik. Do it for Ukraine. You got this, man. And he did it. I mean, he came out strong in the tent. Put on a beating on Joshua on the tent. And, um, you know, I ended up winning the fight and by split decision. Should be unanimous decision. Um, and yeah, and the ending too. Was, what, uh, what was, what, that was so weird. But from Joshua. Like, what, what was that? I mean, I know the emotions were high. I know he was super disappointed that he lost. But w why? Why? Why act the way he did? I mean, I know a lot of people probably be, you know, like saying stuff like, oh, you know, it, it, the way I look at it, there, there was a better way to handle the loss. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, I don't want to say anything bad about Joshua because I, in my opinion, I think Joshua's a cool guy, but it was just so out of character of him. And uh, after losing, like, it, it's just such a sore loser move, the way he was saying, you know, he was telling Uzik, how, how did I lose? How did I lose? Uh, you, you know, you're not stronger than me. Like, he was saying all, all the weird stuff, and he was holding the belts and throwing them, like, not really throwing them, but, you know, raising them and letting them go. It's like, it's such a weird way to accept a loss. I honestly prefer the way he accepted the loss to uh, Ruiz uh, when he lost to Ruiz, but, you know, ended up not winning this one. Um... Oh man, I'm tired, bro. It's like it's almost four in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I need some sleep. Uh, but yeah, the fight. Honestly, the fight. Um, I, I thought Joshua, like I said earlier, was doing a great job to the body this time around compared to the first fight. Um, but in the end, it, it was still the movement. The movement of Uzik was just the way he moves around the ring, the way he picks his shots, the way he. The way he's so elusive inside that ring, and it's always you know I I had the pleasure of seeing Uzik inside the ring, uh, live in person. And if you watch him live in person, you just get memorized, same mesmerized, same with watching Vasily Lomachenko. Just watching these two guys do their thing inside the ring, is just mesmerizing. And with Uzik, with this win, solidifying himself as the better heavyweight compared to Joshua, um, it, it solidifies Uzik's status as one of the greatest maybe not the greatest heavyweight but definitely one of the greatest boxers with him conquering the cruiserweight division and now him one fight away from being undisputed in in the heavyweight division he's just one fight away and uh you know we all know that tyson fury is the man to beat right now or it's the fight to make i should say for Uzik. um and he made that clear also after the fight that if he you know if he doesn't get the Fury fight, he doesn't want to fight at all. And Tyson Fury, even though he said he was retired last week, uh, he went on social media today, uh, or well, after this fight, saying that he's back, that he hasn't retired. Man, Fury's such a weird dude, man. Like, come on, man. Such an attention seeker. Um, but yeah, uh, I I'm hoping that we get the Fury fight. That's the hope. Um, by the way, Uzik improves to 20-0. 
13 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Um, and in just 20 pro fights, I think he's definitely one of the greatest others of this generation. Um, Joshua suffers his third loss in his pro career. It's not the end of the world for Joshua. Joshua is still a name fighter. I'm sure a lot of people are still willing to see him fight, willing to pay to see him fight. And uh, we'll see him back. I think it's just back to drawing board for Joshua. Just get a, an easy win and then, you know, go from there. I'd still love to see him in there against Fury. I'd still love to see him in there against Wilder. And hopefully we see those fights in the near future. So almost more in the morning. I'm going to bed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.